guys great to see you welcome back to another video and thank you so much for joining me for this one so today we're going to continue on with the series on the style of Eric Clapton and this is part two for anybody who didn't see part one I'll pop a link down below so you can go check that out now in today's part we're going to take a look at the album Unplugged now the album was hugely successful as many of you will already know and it went on to win six Grammys and I think by and large the choice of material was first class. So whether you're an out and out beginner or whether you're somebody who's more advanced, you're going to find something that you can have a bash at on the record, right? So let's break down the album and let's start taking a look at some of these songs that I have done lessons on and that you can begin to have a go at as well. Okay, so we're going to start out with Before You Accuse Me. This is the one that I teach my students first of all from the album. And don't forget that there's links to all of the full lessons, everything you need down below, all right? Now you could just play a straightforward kind of intro if you were just starting out in this type of thing, like a... Okay, but like I was saying to you, the follow-up video I did for this it just solely concentrated on the actual intro that Eric Clapton played, which sounds much more like this. Which is a great little intro, right? And so if you want to learn that, just click down below and you can go do that. Now, as for the rest of the song, right, you just got like a shuffle. So, you know, this isn't too difficult to get down and it's a great starting point if you're looking to get started with the blues and things like that. And it's also got a lovely solo. I won't go into the whole thing, but just to remind you of how some of that goes, you got to... And so on and so forth, right? It's all covered in those videos. So be sure to check that out if, you know, this is a song that you like. And you can definitely do all of this stuff, guys. It's just down to practice. Okay, so this next song we're going to take a look at is called San Francisco Bay Blues. And this always goes down so well whenever I play this one out live. And, you know, the good news is it's a very quick one to get down. It's not too difficult. So let me just see if I can remind you of how this one goes. It goes like this. Hopefully that just gives you a little idea as to what we're going to be dealing with with that song. And like I say, you can do any of these songs, guys. It's just about doing the relevant practice and sticking with the plan and just putting the time in, really. So no worries there. It's definitely achievable. Okay, so the next song I'd like to take a look at is Nobody Knows You When You're Down and Out. And this is a personal favourite. It's again, it's another one of those songs that just has everything. There seems to be a lot of those on this record. Also, this one can be played with finger style or with a pick or a plectrum. So let me show you a little bit of both. And then should you decide to go learn it, just go down below and you can get the full lesson. All right. So with fingers, it sounds like this. So just to give you a flavour, like I say, that's how it sounds using your fingers. And with a pick, you may require a little bit of practice to get this down with a pick. If you haven't done this type of thing before, because 
what you've got is it's not just an out and out strummer as you can hear there are little bass lines and there's the solo and things like that so it, it requires a little bit more if you're a you know kind of pleck or a pick uh pick or a plectrum player i should say a bit of a tongue twister that one all right so it sounds like this So very, very similar, right? Except you always get a little bit more of a crisp sound when using a pick, right? Okay, so now we come to yet another one of my favourites. There's a lot of my favourites on this album, okay? And this one is called Alberta, and it's a beautiful track. Again, he plays this one on a 12-string. I decided to remake this one completely because on the album, Eric Clapton doesn't actually play a solo. It's the piano player, Chuck Lavelle, who plays the solo. And so I thought this was a great opportunity to show you how to construct a solo in the style of Eric Clapton. So if that's something that interests you, be sure to follow the link down below to this lesson. Yeah, so as you can hear, real nice song, that one. And again, you know, all of these songs are well worth checking out. It's just a question of which one you're going to tackle first, right? So, like I say, like all the other songs, that one's down below too. Okay, so now we come to perhaps one of the most popular songs on the record, and that is Layla, in which he played a completely different version of the song for the first time. He jazzed up the song. I think it surprised everybody. And this is probably the song I get asked to teach more than any of the others on the album, probably because of the solo that's contained within the song. Uh, personally, I think that the chord arrangement for the song is fantastic, and just playing the chords without the solo sounds great. But once you add the solo to it, of course, then it becomes the complete package. And it, it's something as guitar players, many people would like to learn. <laughs> so as you can hear definitely one that's nice to be able to play and I think that if you're prepared to put in the time to learn this one it's going to move you on as a guitar player because it covers quite a lot of different techniques not just in the chordal arrangement but also in the solo as well so I think there are lots of elements within this song which will raise your playing to another level okay so now we come to some slide guitar and this is the first slide one that we've looked at and this song is called The Walking Blues and this is a great song to have a look at if you're looking to spread your wings and you haven't tried slide guitar before in my lesson I break down each of the licks so it's easy for you to learn rather than just throwing the whole thing at you and not being able to learn anything right so if you're interested in that just like all the other tracks you can go check this one out right
Woke up this morning, feel round for my shoes. You know about that, babe. Had them all walking blue. Woke up this morning, feel around for my shoes. Okay, so as you can hear there, it's a really nice one to have a go at this song. Okay, and finally we come to the last track that I'd like to mention, and this one is called Running On Faith, and this is a really nice song uh, in so many ways. And you can play this just as a straight chord arrangement, or you can also include the slide as well, all right? So there's plenty of options with this song. So there you have it guys, thanks for taking this time to share with me looking at some of these songs from such a great great album and I really hope that you follow up on this and decide to work on some of the songs. They're definitely worth adding some of these to your repertoire because they're such popular songs and like I say in all likelihood many of them are going to elevate your playing because there's lots of different techniques involved in, in the songs and there's lots of information within each of these lessons for you. I'd like to thank you once again for watching and I look forward to seeing you all soon with another lesson and in the meantime you all take care.